Remember when I said there wouldn't be a re-remake of Resident Evil 1? Well, that aged well. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and we're going to discuss a recent leak for the Resident Evil 1 remake. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! Jimmy, no. Jimmy, no. I'm doing a video. <laughs> We've talked about this. People are friends, not food. Oh. Biohazard Declassified recently received a leak suggesting a fresh remake of Resident Evil 1. They are known for reliable information, especially with accurate leaks about Resident Evil Village, like its inclusion of lichens and vampires. Given their track record, I trust they're not making this up. The source who emailed them the leak chose to remain anonymous, likely to avoid legal action from Capcom. But let's dive into these new leaks. According to the latest Resident Evil rumors, where we're heading back to the past. Resident Evil 1 has already had several iterations from the original game to the director's cut and the 2002 remake, which has been ported multiple times. Yet I'm very excited to see the spooky puzzles, monster designs, and incredible lighting take fruition in this new remake. According to the leaks, while the original Resident Evil 1 features a fixed camera style, Capcom intends to align the fresh remake with with the Resident Evil 2, 3, and 4 remake. While some will disagree with me, I personally found the remakes of Resident Evil 2 and 4 to be excellent. The exact approach to aligning the new remake remains uncertain, especially considering another leak suggesting a different third-person camera perspective for this slower-paced game. This raises questions about whether we'll be seeing an over-the-shoulder camera angle that has become common in the recent remakes. However, However, integrating elements from these successful remakes could potentially enrich the core DNA of Resident Evil. Recently, discussions have emerged suggesting that Capcom aims to unify the branding by using the working title Biohazard RE1 for the Resident Evil 1 remake. Personally, I'm not a fan of this title. While in Japan, Resident Evil is known as Biohazard, I find this title conflicting with Resident Evil 7, which is also titled Biohazard. Frankly, I prefer simplicity by just calling it Resident Evil 1 or even Resident Evil. I believe people can easily distinguish between the different versions like Resident Evil 2002, Resident Evil 1996, and this upcoming remake. And Biohazard is Ethan Winter's title. He had his hands, family, and life taken away. Should Capcom really take away his game's title too? The upcoming remake is anticipated to have a slower pace compared to the Resident Evil 2 remake with each zombie having their own model due to the limited number of distinct enemies within the game. This aspect intrigues me because it suggests that Capcom might delve into a darker side of Resident Evil, portraying the human tragedy of becoming a zombie. In our experiences playing Resident Evil games, we've typically approached zombies as mere obstacles to overcome without considering their humanity. However, the Resident Evil 7 DLC provides a glimpse into the lives of the bakers before their infection, showing us that these monsters were once ordinary people with families and stories. Making each zombie unique could not only have players explore the backstories of the main characters, but also to witness the tragic stories of the zombies themselves, adding depth and emotional resonance to that game. According to another leak, it seems that more bullets will be required to take out zombies in the new Resident Evil 1 remake. Personally, I hope this adjustment is made within reason, as I find tiered enemies can sometimes break immersion. However, executed properly, it could intensify the fear factor of this game, and I want to be scared. In games like Resident Evil 2 or Propagation Paradise Hotel, attempting to eliminate every threat often leads to running out of ammunition as zombies frequently rise again. This scarcity of ammo turns each bullet into a precious resource tightening the tension as you fend off resilient enemies. That mechanic had me curled up in a fetal position, bawling for my mommy. For the last time, I'm not your mother. Why? Oh! Oh my.
Oh my! Resident Evil has always excelled at immersing players in its world, whether in VR or on flat screen. The series has a knack for making you feel like you're truly surviving against the evil forces that threaten you. By reintroducing more of this fear factor in the upcoming Resident Evil game and future installments, players will become even more deeply immersed, perhaps finding themselves gripping their controllers lightly or accidentally destroying their expensive headsets. Just imagine a Resident Evil 1 experience with the graphical and mechanical enhancements of RE2, all while maintaining the deliberate pacing of the original. This integration could truly elevate the horror and immersion of the game to new heights. Another leak hints at the return of Crimson Heads. In the Resident Evil 1 remake, they introduced a gruesome mechanic where you had to burn the bodies of the infected to prevent them from returning as Crimson Heads. Crimson Heads would definitely be the super zombies you wouldn't want to run into, capable of running fast and delivering instant kill. This keeps players on edge as they not only have to keep track of their resources, but also their lighter fluid. According to the leaks, there will be no more pre-rendered backgrounds in the upcoming remake. Instead, each room will dynamically load background assets, with the rest of the environment loading as the doors are opened, aiming to enhance visuals and lighting. This departure from the original's dramatic door opening sequences, often used to hide loading screens, suggests a shift towards a more immersive experience. My speculation is that Capcom aims to capture the essence and pacing of the original Resident Evil while heightening the terror factor for modern audiences. More leaks have also hinted at a deeper exploration of the lore surrounding Resident Evil 1. I'm particularly intrigued by the potential for this expanded lore. Will dialogue be altered to underscore the grim reality of life as a STARS member? Putting someone down that was once human? This concept could delve into the character's PTSD, making this installment perhaps the darkest in the series yet. We would observe the festering trauma of the STARS members as they receive reports of a mansion murder, sense the growing unease that something is amiss, and beginning the nightmare, igniting the survival horror that defines Resident Evil. Such storytelling could offer new fans a glimpse into life before the outbreak, showcasing Raccoon City's once thriving existence. Additionally, I'm hopeful for further expansion of the lore surrounding Oswell E. Spencer, a key antagonist in the game. His name was recently referenced in a letter found in Resident Evil Village, where Chris learns his connection to Miranda as her student, and the inception of Umbrella. It would be interesting to see a remnant of Miranda in the Resident Evil 1 remake, such as a mural depicting her in the Spencer Mansion. While Jill and Chris may remain unaware of Miranda's presence, it would be a delightful treat for fans of the Resident Evil universe. The fan base for Resident Evil was pretty much much divided over their preferences for the original and the remakes, but I'm excited to see how Capcom will revert current Resident Evil to the past. Who wouldn't want a fresh remake of the mansion that started all of it after all? And then perhaps we'll get a Code Veronica remake, a Resident Evil 5 remake, and more. Are you excited for the Resident Evil 1 remake? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay updated to your favorite games, including Resident Evil. And maybe you could get your Aunt Rhodes and Uncle Rhodes to subscribe too. What are you hoping to see in future Resident Evil games and what did you wish Capcom did more with them? I want to hear your thoughts and theories on the Resident Evil series. A lot of you had interesting takes in my last video, so I would love to read more about them. Thank you for watching, and that's all. I'll see my fellow zombie hunters next week.